G'day guys, welcome back to Paul J Avery Outdoors. Today I'm coming at you with a gear show and tell of my Adventure Kings Horizon swag. Now, <clears throat> I know you got the Big Daddy Deluxe and all that out there, and I, when I did jump on the website, this is about a year ago, I thought I was getting the Big Daddy Deluxe, but I ended up getting the Horizon. Um, just by mistake, when I ordered over the line, I don't know, it's only like $169 for this swag. Um, but I have to say that I've been out camping with other people. Um, they got the Big Daddy Deluxe. I tell you what, there's no difference. They're pretty much the exact same, I reckon. Um, but what I'll do, I'll just go through the assembly and show you what I got here, and then we'll just go from there. Okay, guys. So first of all, with the King's Horizon swags, I'm pretty sure the Big Daddy Deluxe or whatever it is, they're the same as this. Um, it comes with this outer case, so. It doesn't get too damaged. Well, I've already got bloody little tears and that in it, but that is just from um, being thrown in the boat, stuff being thrown around at fireplace, all that. Um, so it's pretty durable, but I'm glad I got it in the case. I, I use this most of the time, but when I'm coming home from camping, I usually just roll the swag up, throw it away, and then I sort of, if it's got a wet bottom or whatever, I'll come home, air it out, and then I'll rebag it and put it in the shed. So you come with these two clips here. Got one clip. Two clips. And then you've got this heavy duty zip. You just unzip it. Like that. And open him up. That aside. Now, it comes with the two little clips like that where your, your little. Um, shackles I guess you call them and then you just de shackles and you just poke them through like I don't really like that style I'd rather a clip but the clips are more prone to breaking so I guess this is probably just not too bad so then you just and they're a pain I reckon these here are a pain in the ass to get undone but you just have a little play of them and you undo them like that. Now, it comes with a, it comes with a little bag like this, and you have your pegs, um, and a little bit of extra stuff in there, canvas and a little bit of plastic, so there's your extra netting, canvas and that if you need to do a patch job. Um, it's a great little place downtown here in Toowoomba where you can just take it and get zip sewn on or whatever you want to do. And you've got your pegs to peg it down. So I never usually use it, I just throw that aside. And then it also comes with another bag which has your poles in it. Just clips together, that's your main one, goes across there. And then you uh, assemble these two as well. So you got your first one, you got your second one. It's pretty easy to put up. It makes life easy when you get out. I apologize for these fucking shit dogs next door. Little yappers, need a bullet. Anyway, so what you do first of all, you just get both of these put them on it's quite easy so you always start with putting it in these two clips here so they basically just go straight over the top of that and then you start clipping it up
first one on. Yeah, Grab your second one, same thing. go around and clip by clip it's pretty simple pretty straightforward my daughter can put this together no worries at all easy she usually does one side and I usually do the other right so now you got that two ends put on you get one pole it goes in between and then you're done. Now you got your pole. All it is is a matter of it goes backwards and forwards and to lock it off. When you do it, you just turn it one way and it locks off. So, like that. Either way, locks off. So, first thing you do is put him in there. Push that one out. It goes in there. It's just a matter of pulling it out. Locking it off. Put your clips on top. You got your both ends on, you got your pole in between them. And I tell you what, it's actually not a bad swag. The only thing extras that I did is put another mattress on the inside of it, but it's got that plastic bottom, so if it gets wet, it doesn't really matter. But I'd still bring it home, air it out if it does get mildew and you're in a hurry. Um, and you open up your zips. Now you got your fly screen, midgy proof as well, so you, all them real fine bugs don't get through. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Now what I've done is I have the mattress it comes with, it's pretty thick, you know, like, be easy, two or three inches. And then I went down to Clark Rubber and I splurged out on this really comfortable egg foam mattress to go on top. And I've just got a old fitted sheet that I don't use that just goes on. And then basically I just throw me swag, me pillows, everything in there and we're good to go. So I've got my sleeping bag. It's an Oz Trail. It is really, really warm, this one. Tiara's sleeping bag goes in next to mine, usually. And then, I just throw our pillows in, and we're good to go. And I'll tell you what, this here, it is brilliant when you get out, had a big day out on the water, 
and you just want to come back, shower, eat, get in here, zip it up, no bugs. Um, hang a little fan off a couple of these loops as well if it's a hot night. Little, um, just a little battery powered fan and it's got some LED lights on it. It's good for reading a book, but most of the time Tiara likes to get in here and jump on the phone or something like that. Something that the new generation does. But anyway, it's pretty good. It's got these two openings here. So coming on the inside, it has massive windows on both sides. Now, typically that there on the outside, we'd pull that nice and tight. So any water or rain or whatever, it sort of just goes that way. But um, you got your loops up on top here. These are good to hang fans or. Um, and then you got another one down this side of the bed. Now they're pretty easy, but you open them all up with one hand if you need to. Um, sometimes they can get a bit tricky, but you know, it just tucks down the back. And then you got another window, and then you got these little pockets that oh, I honestly just think they're freaking useless. I personally would have liked or will get pockets sewn onto the actual thing here so have a nice big square pocket where you can just slip your phone in or whatever you got in here because that there like goes under the mattress pain in the ass can't see it i'd like to have it up here have a pocket there have a pocket on all four sides would be ideal and then um eventually if i get the time and effort um i would like to put a couple of hooks up on the top of the swag so you can hang a nice long LED light if you need to but that little fan light I got does the trick there's another little pocket down there but yeah other than that guys that is the homestead oh no sorry not, yeah was it the homestead? no so it's Adventure Kings Horizon yeah I tell you it's pretty big it does a job for me and Tiara we get out it's been used a couple of times now um, I do have another swag, that cowkind swag. If you've watched my other video, you would be well aware of that one. And yeah, that's basically it. It is probably one of the easiest and biggest swags that I have ever purchased and used. The only hard thing about it is rolling it up by yourself. That can just be a bit of a pain in the ass. But usually I just get Tiara on one side, me on one side, and we just roll her up and bag it up and away you go and getting it back in that bag that's a bit of a pain in the ass too because we've got that extra mattress in there it makes it that little bit thicker and they sort of made that bag just enough to get it in so you really got to roll it tight and squeeze it in that bag but um, I might I'll just pack it up now and I'll show you guys the pack up all right pack him up just a matter of taking your pillows out your sleeping bag out Undo your clips on your pole.
Come on. See ya, huh? Tom? No, Thomas. Oh, good. Yeah, all good, thank you. silly.
I tell you what, this extra mattress in it makes it very hard to get in. But it is doable. It's just a matter of being patient, squeezing it in. You know, I really, I probably don't even need it, but I just like to put it back in this case. Now, I do realise watching me put this back in the case is probably a bit of a turn off, but, um, but really, you don't need that extra mattress in here. I've only got that extra mattress in here because I've got a bit of a bad back, and I really do like to be comfortable when I'm out. But, like I said, you don't really have to put it back in the case, but I just like to you come with the case, so I just use it until the zip breaks or something goes on it, and then I probably won't use it anymore. And I wouldn't go to the extent of getting another one made for it either. That's it. They're in. And you got these ones here. Clip on. They do give you a little strap there. Just put them all both together. You can sort of throw it over your shoulder then. So, that's it guys. That's my Super Kings Horizon double swag. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook for PJ, uh, Paul J. Avery Outdoors. And have a good one. Righto guys, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Paul J. Avery Outdoors, and have a good one. I tell you what, this extra mattress in it makes it very hard to get in, but it is doable. It's just a matter of being patient, squeezing it in. 
You know, really, I probably don't even need it, but I just like to put it back in this case. Now I do realise watching me put this back in the case is probably a bit of a turn off, but, um, but really, you don't need that extra mattress in here. I've only got that extra mattress in here because I've got a bit of a bad back and I really do like to be comfortable when I'm out. But, like I said, you don't really have to put it back in the case, but I just like to you come with the case so I just use it until the zip breaks or something goes on it and then I probably won't use it anymore. And I wouldn't go to the extent of getting another one made for it either. That's it. We're in. And you got these ones here. Clip on. They do give you a little strap there. Just put them all both together. You can sort of throw it over your shoulder then. Righto guys, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Paul J. Avery Outdoors, and have a good one.